Good evening, America. I'm former, former Vice President Al Gore. As you know, I was once presidential candidate. I did everything in my willpower to try to get you to vote for me. But in Hans, nothing worked. Not global warming, not the fact that I created something you use every day, the internet. What's wrong? But anyway, enough about me. Well, I'm sure I would want more about me, but I can just tell you that uh, we have got two men who are running for president at this time. I'm sure you heard of them, Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. Well, I can tell you that none of these men, and neither one of these men, are what you would call presidential material, at least in my book. Please welcome the next 2012 president of the United States, Chad Epic. Well, thank you for that long, drawn-out, boring introduction, Mr. Nader. I'm, I'm Al Gore. You are whoever I say you are. Shut your mouth and open your ears, because oh, greatness himself is speaking. Yes, you heard it right from Mr. Uh, Nader Gore. over there. Gore. Matt Bishop, Chad Epic, 2012 President of these United States of America. And the first thing I'm going to do is nuke the North Pole. Uh, the North Pole? The North Pole. Why the North Pole? Have you not seen the movie The Thing? It's a great documentary to get aliens up there. We're going to nuke the North Pole. You do know that was a fictional movie, Chad, right? It's not fictional. My cousin was there. He told me all about it. Chad, you don't have a cousin. I do, too. Mr. He, Epic, oh. with all due respect, with, with the events of global warming and all, I would refrain. You Hang on a second. North uh, Mr. Gore, uh, just go this way, please. All right. <clears throat> well, that being said, I'm going to nominate my Secretary of State, the Treasury. Single-handedly will wipe out the debt with one swipe of his credit card, mm. Mr. Barry Ace. Well, well, wait, Barry Ace can't afford that. Have you seen the... Oh, excuse me. Yellow? No, I'm actually, yes, I'm, that is me on TV, Mom. You are watching CNN. Yes, I'm also on Fox News. Yes, they love me on Fox News for some reason. I will talk to you later, okay? Thank you. That scares me. What? That you actually have a mother. Of course I have a mother. How much do you think I got here? Your mother? I wrote her last night, but that's a different story. I was figured you just kind of like But the fact somewhere. is, I'm going to make my Secretary of Defense the one and only Damien Darkseid. Damien. Damien Darkseid. Well, we know he's good with sonic weapons at the very least. There we go. We're going to have in charge of the FBI, mm -hmm. Mulder. But Agent Mulder. You mean David Duchovny? No, Agent Mulder. Who the hell's Duchovny? He's the guy who plays Mulder. It's oh. a show, chat. David Duchovny. Who? No one even heard it. Whatever. Head of the CIA, the guy who's king of conspiracy theories? Mm -hmm. You. Me? Yeah, you like those things, right? Either that or Nicolas Cage. I think I'll go with Nicolas Cage. What's he, right. I mean, what's he doing these days? Making a third national treasure? Oh, God help us all. Well, the fact is, I mean, your choices are this. You're going to pick a guy who's going to get shot in the next four years. And we don't want it to be you. No, that's not going to be me. I, I can't get shot. This chest hair is bulletproof, baby. The fact is, you're going to pick the other guy who doesn't allow women's rights. He doesn't allow racial rights. Hell, he wants to build a fence on Mexico. If we build a fence on Mexico, Mr. Bishop, who's going to build a fence if we don't let him in? Keep moving, Chaz. I'm All right, we're going to make Alaska. I am not touching that Canada one. can have Alaska after we close them off. Puerto Rico, you got no choice. You're the 50th state. You either become the 50th state, the next 50th state, or you become the next Afghanistan. Whoa, whoa, your, whoa, whoa, wait. You're going to declare war on Puerto Rico? Yes. Isn't Andreas Reyes from there? Exactly. Fact is, they're not going to be called Puerto Rico anymore. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico are going to now be called the Dominican of Samoa. Dominica of Samoa, they're not, no, Samoans. They're Samoans. They're not Samoans, Chad. If you're not American, you're Samoan. That is my decree. Move on. We are. We're going to take some questions from the lovely press we have here tonight, Mr. Vice President. You want to take the first one? Uh, sure. All right, let's see. Who we got? That uh, one with the face. Which ones? They've all got faces, Chad. The They're... one with the face and well, the waving well, uh, the gun. Okay, yeah, that one. All right. So, uh, what do you guys think of, what are you doing? What? I just don't want to get shot. That's oh. why I got Aren't you supposed where, where's my head of security? Anyway, what do you guys what do you guys feel about uh, gun control? You know how to control it? Yeah. You know how to use it? Yeah. You poke people's eyes out with it? All the time. Make sure to use protection. Okay. Next question. Uh, uh, all right, uh, this guy right well, here. Samoan in the front row. He's not a yes. Samoan. Is he American? Yes. He's Samoan. Yes, channel 3.5. Um, 
What do you believe? Pokemon or Digimon? Which is better? Bakugan. Darla Hayden is gonna hate you. That's okay. Um, my next uh, presidential scandal right there. Matter of fact, you want a job? You want to be an intern? Oh, I think we I got a position that. for you. I got a few positions actually. Hey, hey, hey. Not, we're not even in the office yet. Let her get the blue dress first. Uh, that makes sense. What's your question? Uh, where is your wife today? I'm actually divorced. Happily divorced. Oh. And so is she. I see. She's got half the house. Matter of fact, I think she gets you on the weekends every other. And isn't she fine? Unfortunately for you. What? You. What, what are you going to do to restore America's intelligence in light of the success of Jersey Shore, which has literally dumbed America down to a level of cavemen? That is a great question. Well, first we're going to nuke the Jersey Shore. That's my solution. We don't like it, we're going to nuke it. Nuke the Jersey Shore. I can't and all these kids, yeah, can't you know what, all these kids who want to wear their pants half down, their parents are now required to wear their pants at the knees when they pick them up from high school. Have you seen some of their parents? Exactly their point. You want your parents showing up with their pants around your, their knees, picking you up from school? Matter of fact, these kids are going to get beat from morning till night, and that will whip into shape. Matter of fact, we're going to reinstitute the draft. You're going back to war. We got one question right here. Actually, I have two if that's okay. Make it three and we'll be even. All right. Number one, what does WAW President Buck Ross think about your running for president? He'll be out of the job soon enough. Okay, number two, exactly who's uh, financially backing your campaign? Barry Ace. Well, that would be you, uh, wouldn't it? Oh, my cover's blown here. Also, You're wearing uh, your own damn t-shirt. Of course your cover's blown. Sure. Maybe if you went incognito for once and didn't wear that damn mohawk. I was incognito oh. not once. Also, uh... She hated every minute of it. Any truth to the rumor you're gonna have uh, Sexy so. Pete as a member of your cabinet? Yes. Yes, it is. Sexy Pete? Sexy Pete. Oh, damn right. Well, the fact is, I gotta tell you this. A great man once said, I've wine and dine on, with kings and queens. I've had my share of pork and beans, my friend. And now All it's right? been said by you, so it's been, it's been said by a poor man. You said it too. All right, the fact is, like I was saying, now if you shut your mouth open your ears, because greatness himself is about to finish up a lot longer than you would have. I've wine and dine on kings and queens. Yeah, I've had both. All right, I've plenty had my queens. share of plenty pork queens and down beans. In, plenty of queens down I've been in the uploaded, village. downloaded, turned off, certainly turned on. But let's see, how you doing? The fact, hey, you know what, gay straight, I'm still getting more than you, Mr. Bishop. But the fact is, at the end of the day, if you want this country to go in the shitter, you want this country to end all self-respect, you vote for one of the other guys. Or if you want... You want this country to go back to the way it was when the people actually ran the country. Because face it, I'm not going to do a damn thing if you elect me. You all can do whatever you want. Wait, you got a question? She okay. Who cares? She's probably had like five heart attacks. He's the next Dick Cheney. <laughs> that was actually good. I'm actually giving you credit for that one. Well, thank you. That's the only, yeah, only time I'm ever going to do it. The fact is, from coast to coast. Post to post. Post to post, that works too. All right? I'm the eggs in this country's bacon, the cream in their coffee. The one for this country begs, and sooner or later, I'll be the face between this country's legs. I am greatness himself, the first father of greatness for the Son, the Spirit, and the Holy First Father. My name is Chad Epic, and I will be your next president of these United States. God,